WRDA Richmond, WTVR HD2 Richmond. From the Hadid Mercer Rug Cleaning Studios. Richmond's News, Weather, and Traffic Station. News Radio 1140 WRDA. Good morning, I'm Deja Bickham. On the 19th anniversary of the Columbine Massacre, a Florida high school was set to hold an event to protest school violence. Instead, they became the victim of it. After this check of weather on News Radio WRVA. From the PearsonHotta.com Weather Center, it's clear skies and 37 degrees in short pump. News Radio WRVA, time 6 a.m. That high school shooting ended with one wounded student and a school wide lockdown. ABC Steve Osinsami has the story. Listen closely, and you can hear the panic as police cleared classrooms. Students at Forest High School in Central Florida were just about to join their peers across the country, walking out of school to protest gun violence when the issue hit home. Just after 8.30 a.m., police say that 19-year-old Sky Boucher, who didn't attend classes here, managed to get into the main building with a gun and open fire on a 17-year-old student. School resource officer Deputy Jim Long was there in three minutes and took the accused gunman into custody. In classrooms across the school, this was not a drill. They piled everything they could find against doors. Forest is on lockdown right now. Parents were told to pick up their children at a nearby church. While students at that Florida high school were unable to participate in the nationwide school walkout to protest school violence, Virginia students who did had expected to bring 10,000 people to the state capitol. Even though that event only drew about 300 people, students say they weren't discouraged. Richmond area students walked out of school, held a, vo- had a, held a voter registration drive, and then marched to the state capitol. And following an E. coli breakout, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention issued a statement urging consumers not to buy or consume romaine lettuce unless you can confirm it's not from Yuma, Arizona. ABC's Andy Field has the latest. Health officials think some of the contaminated romaine lettuce was grown in southeast Arizona, then shipped for packaging to plants around the country. CDC says they've counted nearly 60 cases of people getting sick from E. coli contaminated romaine. And since they can't be sure which companies received the tainted lettuce, they're asking Americans to just throw it away till they find and stop the spread. And that warning comes after 16 states have reported outbreaks. And a protester is facing charges for allegedly vandalizing the home of the National Rifle Association's top lobbyist. Court records show Patricia Hill of Lincoln, Nebraska, has been charged with misdemeanor destruction of property outside the Virginia home of NRA lobbyist Chris Cox. Alexandria police say the home was targeted in two separate incidents stretching back to last fall. A lawyer for the Cox family says that the protests crossed the line of civility. Your next news at 7, news on demand at WRVA.com. I'm Deja Bickham on Richmond's News, Weather and Traffic Station. News Radio 1140 WRVA and I'm 96.1 FM. This is John Reed. Monday.